Hi there, I'm Justin Pritchard, and I have finally gotten my hands on one of the most anticipated crossovers of the year. Today, it is all about the Kia Telluride. And fair warning, if you're considering one of these, the first reaction from your friends and family will typically be to comment on how big it is. So get your wittiest comebacks ready. Like all crossovers, this one has some strengths and weaknesses that you'll want to understand to help you decide if it's for you, and we'll mainly focus on those in this video. In a nutshell, this is a crossover that you buy if you want something enormous and unique looking that's very easy to spot. If, like me, you find that all crossovers pretty much look the same, you'll like what's going on here, especially from that big sheet metal rump. The visual wattage they've dialed into this thing is just off the charts. Now the styling isn't for everyone, but unlike most of its competitors, there is no second guessing. Is that a Toyota, or a Hyundai, or a Chev, or maybe the Subaru? No, it's the Telluride, and that's apparent from a mere glance. You will not lose this one in the Costco parking lot. And a lot of people have been telling me that they didn't really appreciate the styling of this thing until they saw one in person. And you'll probably be seeing one in person soon enough on the road. Canadians just can't seem to get enough of the latest and greatest crossover. And right now, this machine is very high on a lot of lists. And looks aside, it also stands out because it's huge. And if you have the sort of family that tends to max out a vehicle, then this should do you. Heck, even with all three seating rows upright, there's still room for cargo and plenty of it. Fold them down and you could sleep back here. Just a few seconds and she'll go from soccer transit to camper crossover to cargo van. It's all up to you. By the way, second row seats are very adult friendly and third row seats are not bad either. Unlike almost everything else with three row seating, an adult could comfortably sit back here for a while before claustrophobia set in. And up front, it's space to spare, handy storage everywhere you look, proper cup holders, charging ports and pads, and full connectivity. There's abundant room in every direction, and if you're of about average size like me, you're very well set up, and even much taller and wider front seat occupants should do just fine. So if you like big and spacious, Telluride won't cause you any stress, and you're extremely unlikely to run out of storage space for smaller items or charging ports for your gadgets on the move, and that's even if you've got a vehicle full of teenagers double-fisting smartphones. Feature content includes all modern must-haves. Some favorites include the wireless charging pad, climate-controlled leather seating, dual sunroof setup, and a fantastic surround view parking system with great graphics that help take the stress out of docking or parking this behemoth. Automatic lights, brights, and wipers provide set it and forget it operation, and full smartphone connectivity is enabled by the central touch screen, which, by the way, is logical, well organized, and easily learned, even by those of us who often need to call the grandkids for tech support. And this is super cool too. If you signal, you get a camera image of the corresponding side of the car on the cluster. With blind spot monitoring and your shoulder check, this is a third backup against sideswiping another motorist, though the cameras are cameras, meaning they won't work if they're covered in snow or dirt. Elsewhere on board, it's clean, modern, and upscale. No shortage of wood and leather and stitching to help support the Telluride's price tag with sophisticated flair, and this creamy leather steering wheel made me happy to have fingertips. Perched in the northwest corner of the cabin behind the wheel, I had little issue finding or using any of the multitude of controls or features. Safety systems include lane departure warning, collision alert, and some semi-autonomous steering capability to help keep you in your lane. If you don't like that stuff, you can easily turn it off, though I found little reason to, these systems typically feel well calibrated and don't usually come off as too sensitive. Aside from the benefits of its enormous size, Telluride's other key strength is likely its ride quality. It's very well done. The suspension feels tough and durable, but it's tuned for sturdy comfort. The result is that it rarely crashes into bumps, maintains good comfort levels on rougher roads, and all the while manages to be softly sporty on its feet. Don't go trying to follow a GTI around an off-ramp or anything, but the Telluride rides well and feels less tippy and gelatinous than you might think given its size and shape. But all of that comes as the result of a little bit of compromise. If you look at the ground clearance, it's not huge, actually, and there's even less of it if you get these running boards installed. 
Try them first at the dealer. Unless you've got small kids or mobility-challenged passengers, you might find they just get in the way of easy entry and exit. Plus, with limited approach and departure angles and a long wheelbase, you're somewhat limited to light off-roading if you don't want to remodel the bumper or oil pan on the surface beneath. Translation, this will tackle some light off-road trails, but they've set things up mostly for easy access to the cabin and good on-road handling and ride quality, not weekend off-road adventure. If you do hit the trails, this clever selector dial allows you to pre-engage certain terrain-specific presets for various systems, as well as the drive modes that you like the most. It's a little extra fine-tuning and assistance to help deliver the ideal drive for the situation at hand, or leave everything in the factory auto setting, and it handles it all for you, requiring none of your attention. The all-wheel drive system requires none of your decision-making either. Also notable, it's lighter at the controls than you think. This is a big and heavy machine, though the engineers have done a pretty good job of dialing it in not to feel that way at the tips of your fingers and toes. Really, it's no more labor-intensive to drive or park or steer than a family sedan, though you do get a commanding driving position and that oh-so-lovely elevated seating height that many crossover owners love. And if you're wondering, she'll seat up to 8 and tow up to 5,000 pounds. How's it go? Well, just fine if you're a relaxed driver concerned primarily with relatively fuel-efficient operation, though sportier drivers need not apply. This 3.8-liter direct-injection V6 does 291 horsepower and 262 pounds of torque. It's not turbocharged, meaning that most of its power arrives at higher revs, not down low where it counts most in daily traffic. The transmission is an 8-speed automatic. It's very smooth but fairly lazy, and if you want the Telluride to really hustle, it's a deep hard press on that throttle, a wait for the kick down, and a further wait for higher revs to really get the engine breathing. It's remarkably smooth and gentle and well-mannered, but responsive performance is not the name of the Telluride's game, which is just fine for most shoppers. Performance from the brakes is more impressive, pedal feel is pretty good, stops come with relatively strong urgency, and there's a fair bit of nosedive that's all par for the course. Other notables, the motorized tailgate is a handy touch, and the rear canine jump in height is is fine for a mid-sized family pooch like mine, though smaller or older dogs might need some help from one of their humans to board and exit. Gripes, keeping context in mind, I figure you've got sportier and more off-road capable alternatives if that's important to you. If not, I've got just one thing to gripe about and it is the headlights. Performance is good, but the aim is too high. After a few days driving this machine after dark, I noticed a lot of oncoming traffic flashing me to turn off my brights, but they weren't engaged. So ask your dealer if they might be able to adjust the headlight aim for you if you happen to notice this problem with yours. Telluride is ultimately not for every driver, though those set on massive space, excellent ride quality, and a relaxing cabin that makes it easy to lounge, socialize, stay connected, and stay organized will find it a very compelling package. Add in the unique looks and nearly imposing on-road presence, and you've got a crossover that's as distinctive as it is enormous. Those who want to comfortably enjoy space to spare without blending in will find this to be pretty one of a kind. Thanks for watching.